Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie the Dawn. I remain your host, Shadow Fury three three three, and this next match is going to be Dancer versus Google Frog on Ravaged. And Dancer is actually getting some dread in the chat because they're a very defensive player and going for Jump Bot Factory, in fact, which does not fit with that. To be quite honest, they're actually going for the same thing. Pyros, Google Frog, and Dancer both going for Jump Bot Factory, both going Freaker into or Constable into Pyro. I don't know why Freaker's the one name I can't remember that's changed. Constable into Pyro. But this is not normal for Dancer. Dancer normally plays things very defensive. You expect them to go for Spider Bot and try to scout out or go for Shield Bot and just Shield Ball, Felon Ball all day. But nope, today they are going for Jump Butts. They want to play the offense game. They want to do something different. And I applaud that. Variety is always good. Actually going for a rather risky expansion, too, over the eastern side of the map. Granted, for jump bots, it's not super risky. I mean, it's still farther away than the northern expansion, but at the same time, you have that one choke point. While well, Google Frog going for the slightly safer expansion over near their base, just with that one little ramp in between. So, right now, Dancer actually might be harder to harass, just because knowing that your opponent's going to go there is the one difference. Dancer isn't doing the most predictable thing. Google Frog, however, is. On the other hand, Google Frog is probably not going to get attacked anytime soon from the looks of it. Dancer, in fact, is using the Pyro entirely for defense. So they're playing a more offensive factory, but they are apparently not playing any less of a defensive style. Which is not surprising. I would expect actually quite a few moderators from this point, because Moderator and Firewalker, that would still fit their style quite a lot. I mean, it's the only units I can think of out of the jump bot lineup that would fit their style, but it would fit their style. At this point, actually, Dancer are doing quite well economically. Building up rather quickly. Oh, but Google Frog probably going to get tipped off to the fact that Dancer has expanded or will be expanding to the eastern side of the map. And Google Frog ahead on the metal. Dancer ahead on the energy, but not otherwise ahead. And about to possibly lose that advantage. And there's Google Frog. Trying to deal with that Lotus. Oh, two. Okay. Dancer, good thing you built those two Lotuses, because otherwise, you'd have been dead. Or at least you'd have lost all of your energy economy advantage, which really is the only advantage you have in Google Frog right now. See, this is the way they normally play. And actually something they told me about how to play and how to be efficient about things is that the metal that you save in your factory, or metal you save in your storage, their philosophy is you're going to spend it. As long as there's an excess, you're going to spend it. So don't worry about building energy that quickly. Get the metal up. And then get your energy up to spend it basically right before you excess. And that way you won't excess. You will actually use all the metal that you gained. You may not use it as quickly as you otherwise would. But it's not usually going to matter. By the time you manage to spend all that metal, you're still in roughly the same position you would be had you spent it very rapidly but not gotten as much energy in the process. Or rather, got, gotten more energy but not gotten as much metal in the process because you were spending all this time building energy structures rather than getting the more location-sensitive metal, which is, to some extent, more timing-sensitive as a result of being location-sensitive. While energy, you can build wherever you'd like. However, Dancer not living by that philosophy at all and actually ending up with more money as a, possible as a result. Partly from reclaiming, reclaiming that one jump bot, that one pyro. But they did expand a bit faster. And Google Frog dangerously close to accessing. It still is the point where Google Frog does have the 500 metal that they can just throw anywhere they'd like. It's just a matter of when that's going to happen. And, of course, building up these power plants is still efficient. Still setting that up. I mean, they can still avoid accessing, but it's getting close. Whenever the commander's moving, they need a caretaker or something very shortly. If not right now. Actually, they need a caretaker a little while earlier. But, at the same time, Google Frog managing to take the western side of the map... And with some... no, nah, it's enough resistance. That constable doing its job. Even though the defender going... Oh, no, actually, the defender going down is a big problem. Okay, it's a moderate problem. The constable will still slow things down. Dancer is still fighting at a major disadvantage thanks to that slow beam. And the constable still alive, so really not a whole lot of damage has been dealt here. Some damage has been dealt. That constable goes down. Oh, that would have been so worth it. Actually, the constable is going to burn... I think it's going to be alive with, like, 12 health. No, it does burn down! Does finally die, and falls into the water in the process, because... Why not? Decides to jump into a watery grave. That's Viking Burial. Burned at sea. 
So that was actually a productive fight. Dancer did lose those pyros, but did manage to stop that territory from easily being Google Frogs, and could actually take that and get all that reclaim too. That juicy, like, 300 metal reclaim. 400 metal reclaim. Oh, I'm counting the one in the water. 330 metal reclaim. Yeah, that's... That is lucrative. Google Frog is in a much better position to take it, though. I mean, they're right here. They're set up. At the same time, though, we do have an air factory up for Dancer, hovercraft factory coming up for Google Frog, and Google Frog continuing to build up their jump bot factory. Actually, still going for... Nope, still just Constable Pyro. Dancer going for Jax, though, which makes me think they are going to be trying to push more towards taking this territory as much as they can. Also, revealing the fact that they have air, but I don't think Google Frog is going to deal with that yet. They only really have the Vulture at this point, so Dancer, with all the information, but not a whole lot of fighting tools. And, of course, the Jack would also be used defensively. So that is a thing. Oh, Orphelia's pointing out that the, the Google Frog was trying to throw the console into the water to put out the fire, but didn't do it in time. And it's like, you're right. I still say Viking Burial. Except for the boat. But I guess that would involve incinerating a surfboard. I don't know if surfboards burn. I imagine surfboards would actually not burn because they're in the water, and so they would just save that. Like, they would constantly be putting themselves out as they're going through the water. But I actually don't know. No one ever uses surfboards. To the point that I don't think they're actually in the game anymore. No. I'm pretty sure they... I'm not sure which version this is. Because this is a slightly older version. No, this is... No, 14, 12, 20. No, never mind. This is... This isn't the absolute latest version, but it is close enough. I'm pretty sure that surfboards are already gone. So yeah, at this point, that's actually a moot point. They don't exist anymore. Oh well, so much for boats. At any rate, the... The economic advantage situation! Definitely in Google Frog's favor, with the armies and everything, and the hovercraft units aren't even being used much, just the halberds, but that's enough! Because it can break through, while Dancer... Not sure what they were planning to build. They never actually even took that southwest section. Or the... Not southwest, the middle west section. They never took that. Because... I don't know, actually. That Jack was doing work. I don't know why it didn't just go over there. Oh, went back to base to get repaired. Yeah. Like I said, not sure why Jump Bot. It just does not fit... It doesn't fit Dancer's style. Also, Reclaim. Reclaim Dancer. I realize you're building, but Reclaim. But yeah, Dancer's style is highly defensive. Spiders would make a lot of sense. Jumpbot, on the other hand, doesn't have a huge amount of tools to actually fight from a defensive position and build out slowly. Spiderbot can do that. I wouldn't say it necessarily has to. To some extent, it benefits from it benefits from care, benefits from information. It doesn't necessarily benefit from a defensive position, but it can. Jumpbot, on the other hand, no. You don't have... Maybe moderators, like I said, moderators are about it. And to some extent, Jax, that you can use defensively. And Jax is more of that because they are melee units. It's easier in a smaller, tighter cordon or, or smaller, tighter space, which tends to be the case as you're getting approached. Then, yeah, they are better in that position, but still, no. Like... If you're gonna go for jump bot, you gotta be aggressive. You gotta be getting out there and attacking things with the pyros and puppies and possibly jacks. It's ripping things apart. And then being careful. Like, you gotta be careful with pirate with jump bot factory. But you can't just be defensive or set up and then stick in one spot or try to make one firebase and hold to it. it. Works really well with shields, works fairly well with spiders. Does not work with jump bots. In the least. And this is a pretty good example as to why. You just don't have enough as you're getting assaulted to be able to get back. Although with the moderators and jacks, there's some indication that there's possibilities here, but Dancer is so far behind economically that this really isn't the right choice. The problem is that they need to get through and get rid of a lot of Google Frog's economy in order to have any shot. Because right now, Google Frog has taken most of the map, so... In order to build up their economy at all, Dancer needs to set up anything that they can to get rid of Google Frog's economy. Which at this point is basically nothing. So unfortunately, Dancer is going to be going down, but at least we 
For those of you in the chat who were a little bit worried about seeing Dancer's normal combo. We didn't. We saw something different. Something which doesn't quite make sense. And like I said, for Dancer, the way they are comfortable playing, like they're at this point, if they want to play Jump Bot, I'd say either become more comfortable with a more aggressive style that's more focused on raiding and especially py like Pyros are an awesome raider. They're expensive, yes, but they're very difficult to dislodge if you use them properly. But you have to be paying a lot of attention to them, and also making sure that they are going in and damaging stuff. Not dying, but damaging stuff. But... With... Yeah, with, the with Jump Out Factory, particularly with Pyros and Puppies, you gotta make sure that you can't ple be a ple ple You cannot be playing that combo-oriented defensive style. The other option, if you're not going for Pyros and Puppies, is to go for moderators, firewalkers. Jacks aren't a bad idea for defense either. Go for that, and then expand slowly, marching out with moderators and using them to create a really strong line that's difficult to get through for raiders. For units like halberds, no, unit halberds are a pain in the butt. But for raiders, yeah, moderators do fine. Like they are countered by raiders technically, and they can be if the raiders get close. But with enough of them, they just get one shot. So it doesn't end up being a massive problem. But that is assuming the line is held. If it's not held, then it's a problem. Jax can work well for dealing with that. Pyros can sort of work for dealing with that. But yeah, if you're playing defensively, Pyros are not the focus unit. They're maybe useful as a way of getting units, like one or two to keep the moderator safe. But otherwise, now for jump bot, that is not the defensive style. At any rate, Dancers, what are they building up for here? And they have the Wyvern, which is doing some work, but they're not going to be for long. Three Penetrators. For those of you not familiar with the game, this is a problem. A massive problem. These things deal like 2,000 damage a shot. Or 3,000 damage. My mistake. Holy. Wow, that was a lucky Wyvern got missed by the second shot, because otherwise it would actually got missed by both shots, or grazed by one, because that should have killed it. Like, seriously, that's 3,000 damage beam. That should have been death. But yeah, I don't know why Dancer is hanging around. I don't know what they're expected to accomplish at this point. They don't even have a Firewalker coming up. Like, seriously, where you're playing Jump Bot Factory, you're not playing Firewalkers? You're, and you're a defensive style player? I I don't understand. And down goes the Wyvern. Does get hit. Doesn't doesn't even manage to kill anything? I think it just died. Yeah, it looks like it's just dead. But Firewalkers. If you're gonna be playing defensive jump bots. Like I said, moderators, firewalkers, maybe some jacks, maybe a pyro or two to get raiders off the moderators' backs. But otherwise. Firewalkers and moderators. And then just approach everything slowly, pounding everything down. Or don't play jump bots. Or don't play defensive. And for those of you pointing out that the penetrator can't shoot up the hill, it doesn't matter. Halberds can. And Halberds have been the main line assault force at this point for Google Frog for the last five minutes, so yeah, that's clearly what's going to be gone for here. And apparently the pen that, that penetrator, what's wrong with you? That was your ally. Still is. Thankfully they were closed up, they didn't get killed. You could have killed somebody. Alright. Friendly fire jokes aside, that is... That's about it. I mean... Dancer not going for the usual combo. I guess possibly because they figure Google Frog will deal with it, which isn't a bad assumption. I imagine they would. I mean, their main combo is essentially a shield ball. It's just a really resilient shield ball, but there are counters to that. I mean, either you can avoid it and just expand around it and overwhelm them with sheer numbers because you have far more money than they do, or you just use artillery or EMP or rockets or EMP rockets. Like, there are options. But yeah, penetrators are awesome. 
expensive, but awesome. Like, super expensive. I don't yeah, they're a thousand metal each. You're not getting them for a while. But hey, they're awesome. That's kind of Hovercraft's most powerful unit, actually. Because Hovercraft is one of those factories that has this capstone unit to it. And that's the Penetrator. Anyhow, that's going to be it for me tonight. So thanks for watching. And hope you enjoyed that. Have a good night, everyone.